Hi, now in this video of CSS we'll discuss about the padding. When I say padding, you must have heard about the padding in cell padding while learning the table tag in HTML, where padding means distance between the text and the border. So here also we are talking about the same padding where I can manipulate the space between the text to its border. That border distance may be from the top, from the left, from the bottom as well as from the right. Depends all on our need. So let's see what all we can do while working with the padding options in CSS. So here in the example of padding, if I'll just mention padding, that means that I'm taking the distance from the text and the border that will be taken from the left and top. But here I can take the distance from any of the side of the padding in the padding, right? So here in this current example, I'm using padding bottom. So that means the distance of the text and the border will be taken from the bottom side. So let's save this and if we'll come to the browser, here you can see that the distance is right here from the bottom. This one is the 15 pixel while this one is 5%. Similarly, if rather than padding bottom, I'll say padding top at both the places. So you can see the same distance is coming from the top and very similarly you can do it for the left and right as well. So let's put it left and right. Alright, so here you can see the distance is being taken from that side but since the percentage it's not about the percentage, the border is about the 100% of the width. So that's why here, okay, this is I, I've given right. All right, that's why it's not there. So let's put it left and now you can see 5% from there. All right. I can also use padding right, but here as you can see, the alignment is already left and the padding is already taken from the right. So it will not work. So first you will, you can try by yourself by putting the alignment to the right and then you can try padding right. So these are the things which you can take care while putting the padding while putting any text inside the border. Now in this example you can clearly see that we have the padding different from all the different sides. Like here in the first paragraph I have used padding 15 pixel that means it will be 15 pixel from all the four side but if I will specify like 10 pixel and space 2% that means from top and bottom it's going to be 10 pixel and from left and right it's going to be 2% similarly if I'll pass three different values that means the top is going to take the first one the bottom is going to take the third one and the left and right will share the middle value but here you can see we have the different value for all the four sides. So top is 10 pixel, the first one, then right one is 2 pixel. And after that, the top and the right are taking, means the bottom and the left are taking the same values that is 10 and 10. If you want, you can just make the change to check the difference. So I'm making the change to 20 pixel. So let's come here and refresh. So you can see here as soon as I did it 20%, let me do it again. 30 pixel so here the difference is getting increased all right that means the third value is for the bottom and then this one is for the left one so these are the different ways of passing the so these are the different ways of passing the different values of padding for all the different sides inside the border